What's up guys? In this video, I went back through my past catalog and found the best three examples that I could find of me being able to explain how to find the midpoint between two points. I go ahead and show you using the midpoint formula as well as using a graphical approach. All three of these examples are inside of this video. I hope you enjoy. Well, uh, what I want to do today is show you how to find the midpoint between two coordinate points. So before I go into coordinate points, I really want to do a quick kind of overview of what the midpoint really is. And rather than look at coordinate points, let's just look at two points on the number line. So let's pretend I have a number line. All right, well, let's not pretend. I have a number line, right? There is one right here. And let's just uh, have this be zero. Let's do one, two, three, four. Now, let's say I have a point at one and I have a point at four. And let's say I wanted to find, you know, what is the midpoint? What is the middle of between those two points? So to do that, you know, what we could do is you could say, well, to get to one, two, three, it takes me three times um, to go from one to four. So to find the middle, what we can do is, you know, sometimes say like find the average right in that middle point, right? So what I can do is I, I can write one plus four and then divide by two. So one plus four is five divided by two, which equals 2.5. So on this point, I don't even know what I'm doing now. I have midpoint is between two and three at 2.5. So that's the middle. So what you notice is to find the midpoint, I can add up the two values and divide it by two, kind of finding the central tendency to the average of those two points. Well, now I have coordinate points. And remember, a coordinate point is going to be on a coordinate plane, meaning you're going to have an x value and a y value. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to find the midpoint of the x value, and then also we're going to have to find the midpoint of the y values. And doing that together, we'll find the midpoint of our coordinate points. So for this problem, we need to determine what are our x values and what are our y values. Well, remember, a coordinate point comes in x, y, and x, y. And what we talked about in, with the distance form is a way to distinguish between x1 and y1 um, and, or, I'm sorry, the way to distinguish between the x values and the y values of your coordinate point, well, what we need to do is we need to use subscripts. So I don't always know when I say the x, if I say the x coordinate, you could say, well, which x coordinate are you talking about? So that's why I'm going to use a little subscript to um, distinguish between the two x coordinates. So now, if I want to find the midpoint, the midpoint is a coordinate point, all right? It's a coordinate point that's between the two points. So that means I need to find the average or that midpoint of your x values and your y values. So I'm going to write up what the formula looks like. And it looks something like this. x1 plus x2, just like I did here, divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So therefore, you can see what I've done now is I pretty much did this for a linear, but I... I pretty much did the exact same thing here, but now I did it for both um, values, the x coordinates and the y coordinates. So now all I need to do is just plug in my values. So m is the midpoint, m equals, as midpoint, negative one, and please make sure you put in parentheses just when you're adding them up, just so you don't confuse with your signs. Negative one plus a negative four, all divided by two, comma, six plus, negative 2 divided by 2. And the reason why I say always put in your parentheses is I work with students all the time that I always forget those parentheses and that's a lot of time where mistakes come from. So now let's just do the math. Negative 1 plus negative 4 is a negative 5 divided by 2. Comma, 6 plus negative 4 is 4 divided by 2. And we can just leave it in your fraction. Obviously, this can be reduced. But what we'll do is um, we can write it in decimal as decimals, or we can leave this as a fraction. But as a decimal, this is negative 2.5. And of course, 4 divided by 2 reduces to 2. So uh, there you go. Hope you, and that's what the midpoint equals. So there you go. Hope it helps. Thanks. So, ladies and gentlemen, on the last problem, when we were working with the distance, if you guys remember, is that my book? Yeah. If you guys remember when we did the distance for the last one, the first thing we did was we labeled them our points, x, y, x, y. 
right? And then we did the decimal subscripts, one, one, two, two, right? So guess what, if I'm gonna ask you to find the midpoint between two points, coordinate points, you're gonna to wanna to do the exact same thing, right? All right, but now our distance formula, remember distance equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Now your midpoint, if I wanna find the midpoint of two points, your midpoint is a point. The distance is a length, right? So you're gonna get a number. That's yes? supposed to be an M. Yeah, it's supposed to be an M. Midpoint is gonna be a coordinate point. Midpoint is the point that's in the middle between the two points. So your answer needs to be a point, not a length. So the midpoint, if I want to find the middle between my two x values, I need to find what we call our numeric average, which is say x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Okay, so that's going to be our formula that we'll use to write that. So you want to make sure you have that when you guys are going to future problems. So therefore, in this case, I have x1, which is negative 4, plus negative 5, divided by 2, comma y1, which is 9, plus y2, which is 3, divided by 2. Now we just simplify our expression. Now remember, um, we're going to win, use our operation, when we're simplifying this, we <coughs> simplify our denominator, I'm oh, sorry, our numerator and our denominator first. So negative, five, negative 4 plus negative 5 is going to be negative 9. Negative 9 divided by 2 is just going to leave, leave as a negative 9 half. So I don't want you um, converting that to a decimal, negative 4.5, just leave it as a fraction. And then 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 divided by 3 is 6. So therefore, we have found out the midpoint of a point between those two points is negative 9 halves, comma 6. Okay, we're given a uh, Cartesian coordinate plane, right? And let me, uh, we want to figure out what the midpoint is uh, between two points. Before we get into that, let's go back to a, uh, a horizontal a line line graph. And I was going to say, let's say this is zero, and I wanted to find maybe one, two, three, four, um, All right. If I were to say, you know, what is the midpoint between these two points? Well, you're going to want to go remember like half and half, right? So if, you know, I want to kind of meet them in the half. Well, if I see if I go three units here and then left three units here, I can say that the point negative one is exactly in the middle between these two points. Let me make two kind of points there. Right? So remember the midpoint is kind of like the middle. Well, we have a, an x-axis and we have a y-axis. So it's really, when we're doing the midpoint, we're going to be finding the middle horizontally and we're also going to be finding the midpoint vertically. And you know, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You could also say like, you know, if I had a point four or four, well the, hor the midpoint horizontally or ver vertically would be, and this one would be like zero, right? So when we're doing a midpoint, just remember the midpoint is going to be the middle point between the two. So what happens if I'm just going to make a problem up, and let's say I pick the point 1, 2, 3, down 1, 2, 3. So let's say I pick the point 3, count to negative 3, and I want to find the midpoint between that and negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we might be getting a decimal, we might not. I'm just totally making this problem up. I do know though, if I want to find a midpoint between these two points, I'm looking at it and I'm saying, well, the middle is going to be somewhere right around in here, right? I don't know where it's at, but it's going to be somewhere in this area of where the middle is. Somewhere right around there. Well, what we can do is, to find the midpoint, um, you know, we can make a, we can make a triangle again and find the midpoint vertically and find the midpoint horizontally. So let's do that. Let's make a horizontal triangle and then invert, I'm sorry, horizontal line and then a vertical line and we're gonna make a right triangle. Now, unlike the distance formula, we're not trying to find the value of our hypotenuse, but we're gonna determine what is the length here. So I'm going over one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. And just as I expected, five is not gonna divide evenly. Then vertically, I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And again, I have another uneven point. But that's okay. That's going to get you guys used to it. So if I want to find what is half of 5 units, well, that's 2.5. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. 
So uh, if I go over two and a half units, one, two, point five, and then I split seven and seven by two, that's three point five. So one, two, three point five. And you can see where these crosshairs are at is right there. And my intersection or my midpoint is at um, one half by one half. Now, if you're not really too good or maybe you don't have a graph, you just have the two coordinates. Here's the formula. You want to find the midpoint. What I did was I pretty much, you know, found the middle of my two x values. So what I really did was I, multi I added x1 plus x2 and I divided by 2. Then I took my y1, added it to my y2, and I divided by 2. So let's just go and double check my math just to make sure that's what I did. x1, let's call this x1, and this one x2, this one y1, this one y2. Again, it doesn't matter which one you call x1 or x2 or y1 or y2, it's just a way to label them. x1 is negative 2, plus x2 is a 3, divided by divided by 2. And then my y1 is 4 plus a negative 3 divided by 2. Well, negative 2 plus 3 is 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. 4 plus negative 3 is 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We found it both ways. If you have a graph, you can figure out what the uh, midpoint is going to be. Or if you just have your two coordinate points, you can also use midpoint by using the midpoint formula.